Let's make a kaleidoscope bead with the Emico Big Hole Mandrel. Starting off, I need some 30 gauge fine silver wire. So I take it off the spool and put it really quickly through the flame and it cuts it off. This entire bead is going to be made up of dark ivory from Ephetre. So I'm heating up the mandrel. I start at the closed end of the mandrel when I'm laying down my glass. I used to start on the other end, but I was getting a lot of breakage as far as bead release goes. And I'm not sure what it is, but I do the other direction now and it goes much better. I'm turning up the speed of the mandrel spinner. It has more torque at the high speed and it's kind of needed for this speed. So I'm laying each layer of glass on top of the other to start out with. I'm making a good sized donut basically and then I will flatten it out with a marver after I've got a nice balanced bead going. I'm As I'm laying on the glass I'm leaving the rod up against the glass on the mandrel and just pulling it through and digging in and getting the whole thing balanced and smooth. The end needs to be as straight as possible so the more balanced your bead is the more likely it is that your end will be nice and straight. So using a marver to smooth it out Adding more glass, heating up the end to straighten it out. I didn't get it as straight as I wanted it to be. So I'm just heating up the glass on the mandrel and running the rod through it, dragging it through and straightening it out. Adding some more glass. working really hot as I add the glass. After you've flattened the end and can move on to the next section, you go back rarely just to give it a little bit of heat, but it should stay in shape as you move away from it. Flattening out with a marver. And then using the rolling marver to smooth it out even more. Stretching the glass down the mandrel. Adding some glass a little bit at a time. I just broke off a piece, so I'm just going to superheat that space, superheat that little lump, and just drag my rod through the hot, hot, hot glass and bringing it all back into order. Using the rolling marver a little too soon on too hot of glass, I indented it and you can't fix that by continuing with the rolling marver. So you have to fix it on the graphite one, get it smoothed out, back into shape, 
and then after it's cooled just a hair you can go ahead and use the rolling one to help stretch the glass a little bit down the line and we're just going to continue to add the glass until we have the length that we want so I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up just to get through it a little quicker again making sure that the last wrap that you're going to do on the bead is as smooth as possible and as hot as possible you're just going to smooth the glass hold it against the mandrel and drag it around forget to heat the other end every once in a while checking the length to make sure it's where it needs to be. Now we're gonna take the 30 gauge wire, I pull it and make sure that it's facing the way I want it to. Turning down the speed to make it a little bit more manageable. I'm going to use the 30 gauge fine silver wire and hit the bead with the flame. Wire goes in the flame for a quick, quick, quick second, and then I'm just wrapping it, melting it off, and then I'm going to superheat that space and watch as the wire breaks up into little beads. And I give it about a four count before I hit it with the marver. And this basically smooths everything to one surface so that nothing's sticking out, so nothing will snag. And there you go.